Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss the fourth problem of uh, code forces round 954 division 3 which is mathematical problem. So we are given a string a of length n consisting of uh, digits 0 to 9. We have to insert n minus 2 symbols either addition or multiplication into the string to form a valid arithmetic expression. Now after evaluating the expression the, uh, the value should be opt in should be minimum. So we have to insert the uh, symbols in such a way that the uh, value obtained by performing the operations are minimum. Okay, so let's take one example. Uh, let's take this example uh, 23311. Let's take, take this example 23311. Now we have to uh, we have to add uh, n minus 2. Here n is 5. So we have to add 3. Uh, we can add plus or we can add uh, multiplication. Okay, we have to add 3 plus or multiplications. So let's say uh, one possibility is that we are adding all uh, uh, addition. So this will be 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 11. Okay. We, we, are, uh, we have added 3 multiplications by, uh, sorry, 3 additions. Adding 3 additions uh, will have multiple possibilities also. Let's say we are, we are taking 23 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1. This is also a possibility. And uh, similarly, 2 plus 33 uh, plus 1 plus 1 is also a possibility. And there are other possibilities also uh, if we choose a set of uh, operators uh, in some order. There are also multiple possibilities. So how we can solve this? Uh, to solve this, uh, the first thing we have to observe is that two digits, uh, two consecutive digits are getting merged. Two consecutive digits are getting merged. Here, here in the first case, 11, 2, uh, two ones are getting merged. In the second case, two, uh, 2 and 3 are getting marched. In the third case, 3 and 3 are getting marched. Okay, that is the first observation. So, observation for 1 will, will be that first observation will be if n uh, less than equals to 2, number of characters in the uh, number of digits is less than equals to 2, then our answer will be s. Okay, we have to convert s into uh, integer. Okay, because s could be like 0, 1 also, then we have to print 1. This is the first observation. Second observation is that uh, if n is greater than 2, Okay, n is greater than 2, then we have to uh, march 2 consecutive digits. We have to march 2 consecutive di digits. Okay, so let's say uh, we have marched any 2 consecutive digits. After that, we will have some, we will have some array. Okay, let's say we have marched these uh, 2 things, then we have some array of uh, numbers. So, 2, comma, 33, comma, 1, comma, 1. Now, this is one possibility. Now, we have to find what is the answer for this array? What is the answer for this array? We will construct all these arrays and we will try to find answer for each of the array, each of the possibility and we will try to find the minimum one. Okay. So, for, for a uh, special array, for a constructed array, what, how we can uh, construct the minimum answer here? So, uh, first thing here is that, let's say one array has something like 2, 0 and 11. Let's say one array contains one zero, contains one or multiple zeros then the answer will be, then the answer will obviously be 0. If the array contains 1, 0 or multiple zeros, the answer will be 0. Now, the next case, we will uh, always, we will always try to uh, do addition, but there is a special case here. There is a special case here, when the uh, ones are there. Here, if we perform all the addition, then our answer will be 2 plus 33 plus 1 plus 1. But, this is not the intended case. The intended case is like this, 2 plus 33 plus into 1 into 1 which is 35 here the answer is uh, 37 and here the answer is uh, 35 okay so how we can do that uh, how we can uh, solve this so we will try to concatenate we will try to multiply all the ones to the leftmost non one uh, non one value okay so we will uh, add one, uh, multiply 1 to this 33 and we will again multiply this 1 to 33 and uh, after if the value is not 1 then we will add the uh, value to the last uh, previous element so let's say we are maintaining one stack so let's say we are maintaining one stack we will add 2 to the we will add 2 to the stack then we will we have 33 uh, so we will have 2 plus 33 in the array 35 okay 35 then we will uh, add 1 to the uh, array so this will be 35 into 1 so it will be 35 again will be inserted here and again we are adding uh, 35 into the stack okay uh, because uh, 1 is there so we will uh, uh, well, pop the 35 from the stack and we will add 35 into 1 which is 35 so our desired answer will be 35 okay I hope you get it one second 
like uh, other way to think about this is that the ones are not uh, doing anything ones are not doing anything in the array if we remove all the ones from the array and add the rest of the elements then we will get our desired answer let's say if we remove all the ones in the array uh, the, and add the rest of the elements then we will get our desired answer that is one way to solve this the stack approach i think is not needed uh, this approach would be better you remove all the ones from the array and uh, some, find the sum of the other elements so uh, you can code that part but i will explain my stack approach that is not really needed so uh, we are uh, let's say we are selecting which i and i minus 1 uh, index will be merged so if j equals to uh, j not equals to i and j not equals to i minus 1 we are appending the integer value of the current digit otherwise we are appending is j minus 1 and is j and adding the integer value of that okay now if the uh, count of 0 in the array is greater than 0 then we will uh, our answer will be 0 otherwise uh, uh, this part is not really needed you can like uh, remove this part and remove all the ones from the array and take the sum of the rest of the elements that will work uh, also uh, so i am not going to explain this this uh, is not needed uh, i will provide the link of the code in the description box if you have any doubt any part any any part of the explanation or code you can ask in the comment section i will try to reply each and every comment please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you